Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Sigma here and it's a little video to go over like the physical media and, and kind of the stuff on this channel that I received for Christmas. So hopefully everyone out there, they had a very good Christmas um, and a new year because this won't be out until 2024. Um, and yeah, I was very fortunate. I did get a lot of stuff um, and kind of I... I not not to like plug messages or anything like that, but just to say that, you know, I'm I'm very fortunate to have very good friends and family and you know, I, I try to be a good person to them and you know, and, and in these dark you know, especially parents and stuff like that as they get older, you know, they might not meet as many people around. So just make the effort and, you know, see them and spend a bit of time with them because you never know, you know, you know, when they won't be there when you do want to see them, um, just kind of, you know, the holiday period, just to, just to, you know, there are a lot of people out there who don't have anyone, so just, just kind of wanted to put that out there. But anyway, let's do, let's get into it. So we're going to the physical media first. So first off, um, as you'll see in my other videos, Matt and AJ sent me some stuff. So this is what I'm kind of going through. So I've got a steel book of Transformers 1 from Matt. Um, there's that. Um, AJ sent me a lovely 4K uh, edition of Inglorious Bastards. This will be one I watch and very, very soon. This will go straight onto my watch list. Um, I do look forward to seeing that and having the special edition. Uh, AJ also sent me a Back to the Future, so my favourite trilogy. So I now have it on Blu-ray, so I can get rid, rid of the um, DVD versions. Probably not worth a lot in CX, but who knows. Um, and then Matt... Um, Passed me on a copy of Prey. Um, this is obviously a boot, bootleg. I don't really have many bootlegs, if anything. And I don't normally promote them on this channel. But obviously he did with a little note. Um, I did enjoy this film. I weren't going to pick the steelbook up. Um, I, I may do if it's far cheaper, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, so those are what um, those guys. And I did get the box set of Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin from Matt. But I've swapped it out with another box of dances and I forgot to bring it. So just an honourable mention for that. But yeah, thank you Matt and AJ again. Lovely presents. I do feel very appreciated from them to send them. So let me get on to what my family got me. Um, so my sister, uh, uh, sister brother-in-law and their kids, they got me a few films. So I've got obviously Transformers, Rise of the Beast. Just a standard version. Obviously I did like this movie. Um, I look forward to the second review once I, I'm watching it now. I've given it time to kind of sink in um, and say they were, I did want more beasts and I was very disappointed in that aspect of it. Even though I rated it quite high, um, I'll be very interested if actually the second watch it could be far lower. Um, next one, because I've started to get into ice hockey a little bit, as you'll know from my toy series and, and stuff. And that obviously must have got me the movie Goon. Never seen this before. I do like Sean William Scott. Um, I have had very, very good things about this. I think they've done a sequel as well, but um, obviously so I asked for that, so she picked that up, so it's very nice of her. Um, then the third one from my sister Nat was La La Crocodile, so I love a bit of singing, I love a bit of family fun. I did like this movie, I did like the songs. Um, Shaw Mendes, yeah, who who is the voice of La, brilliant, I thought he did. Right, then we get on to some other movies. So this is what my wife has got me. So this movie I've been after for donkey's years. They don't do it in the UK, so she had to go far out. This is, if you love dogs, this movie is brilliant. Think of Marley and Me, kind of. It does have a bit of a sad ending, but not. Um, Milo Ventilegi, amazing movie. Um, I cannot sing this print. I'm glad to have it. I look forward to watching it again. Um... Yeah, just a very great story and a very great movie. Very underrated. I think it kind of, I didn't even know it kind of, I think I saw it in the cinema out of chance. Come across it and ever since then I've loved it. Um, now my parents treated me to a lot of movies here. So, we, so one of my favourites from 2022, Where the Crawdads Sing. Brilliant film set about a woman on trial and did she or didn't she. Very, very good uh, based on the book, I've not read the book, really loved the movie. It was one of the ones my friends said about it. I I hadn't even seen the trailer when I watched it and thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, now, a movie that wasn't necessarily amazing. I thought it was alright. This was Shazam, uh, Fury of the Gods. Obviously, unfortunately, this came out a few days after one of my friends passed away. Um, so it was a good distraction. And to be honest, this it, that memory will always be in my head for this movie. So I'm not necessarily going to say it's a bad movie or something. It was good for a distraction. I, I enjoyed it. And it will remind me of him. So 
you know, I, I'm, I'm glad to have this collection because I collect most of them DC and Marvel movies and there are, I'm starting to get a few holes here and there that I need to plug, so I'm glad that they did that. Um, another one, a great movie I only watched until a few years ago, and this is Parasite, obviously, unfortunately. Um, the, the household dad, the actor, was found, unfortunately, dead in his car um, on the day of filming this video, so that was, unfortunately, a bit of a shame, but what a great movie, and I'm glad I have this, and kind of his memory will live on through that film and other stuff he has done. Um, movie I'm watching at the end of 20. 22 i did enjoy it i enjoyed so i don't think it was the most amazing movie but having to keep seeing deleted scenes and stuff all over the internet it's really plugged it into this is bullet train so uh brad pitt um very good ensemble car very good story and stuff like this um not what you expected when you watch the trailer to the movie it's completely different and then the final one uh completes my terminator movie set so far this is dark fate so this is obviously linda hamilton one and one where they kind of wipe out terminator 2 if you've ever seen it i know a lot of people didn't think much of it i thought it had good elements but i just think when you have such a grounded franchise um and really good movies when you start mucking around with them unless you have 110 percent love for it and care and that it just makes it a mess so Movies wise, I, I got just a few there. Um, so I did say recently, I'll see if I get any books or something that will also be um, done on this channel. So, first off, my wife, I was with her when we went for my anniversary in Forbidden Planet. We found this, I think, very, very cheap. So, this is Attack on Titan volumes 10, 11, and 12. I'm missing 9 and 8, so I have to now invest for those. Have seen all the anime, finished it this year, absolutely loved it, as you can tell by the poster here. Um, if you're into anime, you like kind of horror and think this is straight up you. I think there's about 100 episodes in all, I say. It's all out in Crunchyroll. I think it's almost all out except for the last episode. So you can go and buy it and watch it all, but definitely recommend. So another series that I'm very big on, um, I'm watching it. It's just announced it will have its final series um, and there is a new movie coming out. Um, this is My Hero Academia. So I... These are the latest three volumes that have been released. So this is everything up to date. And obviously there is only probably going to be another book or two before the thing actually ends. So I'm glad to have all 35 volumes. I'm currently on 30, just finishing 31 last night. So, so I'll soon have time to read those. Um, and the final one that my dad got me, I was only interested in one because I wanted to dip my toe in it. But this is um, X of Swords, X-Men. So this is a big big crossover that they had I think a year or two ago I mean I don't know why X-Men would need swords I think that was a question a lot of people threw out but I was going to get asked for volume one and my dad lovely obviously found a cheap version of the whole thing so I look forward to I think there were two books for this but um I used to be a massive X-Men fan I had loads of uncanny X-Men I still do but I don't really read any X-Men titles now it got a bit diluted for me um obviously with the superhero fatigue as people are calling it yeah, it did just dwindle down a bit. So, and that's what happens when someone rings the door at the end of your video. Anyway, so that is all my pickups for the Christmas period for the media side of things. I do have toys, so expect a toy a toy video to come out. Um, hope I say as you as everybody. Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year's. And then yeah, I look forward to loads of new content on the channels. Um, I've been Cypher Sigma. Screen time. Like, comment, subscribe if you wish to. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.